Rich, in just five days, you have both forged elegant and lethal Japanese katanas. But in this competition, there can only be one winner of $10,000. Jay. Now, if you're a fan of the hit show Forged in Fire, then you'll no doubt remember the show's charismatic host, Will Willis. With his rugged good looks and impressive bladesmithing skills, Will quickly became a fan favorite. But before becoming a television personality, Willis served in the military for 10 years as an Air Force pararescue man and four years as an Army Ranger. After retiring from the military, he went on to use his expert weaponry knowledge as a commentator on various TV shows and even as an actor in hit movies. And in 2015, he finally found his calling as the beloved host of Forged in Fire. Chris, you are the Forged in Fire champion. Congratulations. But as many of you have noticed, Will has suddenly vanished from the show, leaving fans wondering what really happened to Will Willis from Forged in Fire. Was it a personal decision, or was something more sinister at play? Stay tuned to find out. Forged in Fire is all about the finest bladed weapons, and who better to host the show than someone who knows all about it? Will truly is a perfect host to the show, mainly because he's been interested in military and weapons since a very young age. Will actually comes from a line of militants, as his father was in the army. They even lived in a military base in Portugal, and as soon as Will graduated school, he knew what he had to do. So he followed his father's footsteps and decided to join Army Rangers. It was his dream, and his whole family wanted him to enlist into the army, so he did exactly that. Willis remained in this position for four years and then decided to go for the Air Force. There he spent 10 years and got well versed with the discipline and weaponry knowledge that he later used in Forged in Fire. He talked about the difficult and lengthy process of becoming an army officer, but also how it's made him a better person and disciplined him beyond means. This experience and confidence got him featured in a show that aired on a military channel. The show was called Special Ops. He also got another chance at fame when he featured in Triggers. Both these shows made him somewhat famous, but his big break was yet to come. And when he was offered Forged in Fire because of his military and TV experience, Will knew that it was his chance to change his life completely, so he accepted the offer and became the host of the show. He worked on the show for seven seasons and became the face of the show as the contestants kept changing, but he remained constant. People couldn't really imagine the show without him, but then something happened that no one really expected. Will suddenly disappeared from the screen, and the announcement from Forged in Fire surfaced that he won't be a part of the show anymore. His fans were really devastated, and no one wanted him to leave as they thought that Will would be part of the new season as well. The show didn't give a valid reason for Will leaving, so what exactly happened that made Will leave the show that made him so popular among the masses? Will Willis left the show when it was on its peak, and the eighth season was about to be released. According to the creators, they wanted to rebrand the whole show, give it a completely new vibe, and find new faces that could take the reality show to new heights. It also meant that Will won't be a part of the show anymore, and he was quickly replaced by Grady Powell. Fans didn't like this decision, because Will was nothing less than an asset to the show, and they decided to toss him aside just like that, without ever giving a proper reason. Fans thought that rebranding the whole show wasn't a good enough reason to replace the host that's been in the show for seven whole seasons. But the recent statement from Will regarding his farewell from the show worked as fuel on fire, and fans weren't really expecting it. The statements were really controversial, and he didn't say anything about the situation until he opened up about it in a podcast and got a little candid about his experience on the show. He said that most of his time on the show was spent sitting on a hotbed, which was basically his trailer. It was in such bad condition that he was terrified of it, and the trailer always remained really hot from inside, so he was unable to rest properly in it. Besides, there was a pungent smell in the trailer that always bothered him, and he never got to figure it out where it really was coming from. Not only this, but the space given to him was so small that he could hardly get anything done in it. This might sound like a lot of whining, but Will remained on the show for so long and fans really expected the creators to give him some royal treatment. So it was shocking to realize that he wasn't in an ideal situation on the show. A lot of other people, including Jason, have also complained about the show. It's very exciting for me to be here hanging out with David Baker and Doug Markaida and Will. 
and reveal that their experience on the show was horrible. And they wouldn't want to go back, mainly because it all came down to just entertainment, and at one point, the quality didn't really matter. Will also revealed that filming one episode alone took them close to three to four days, and he got really consumed in the process. So much so that he didn't really have time for anything else. Besides, he also said that the filming process is really boring and it sucks all the energy out of you. However, Will did praise the crew that worked day and night to make Forged in Fire happen, but by his statements, it didn't look like he was very happy on the show or he was enjoying himself at all. On the other hand, Will was having some arguments with the creators lately, and they didn't quite agree with him on a lot of things. It kind of put a raft on their working relationship, so sooner or later, Will was bound to leave the show, so he did exactly that, and the creators quickly replaced him and made a story of rebranding just to cover the fact that they had let go of Will. They even said that although they really appreciate everything that Will has done for the show, they would like to give a chance to a new face and it will start their new chapter on the show. Grady Powell has since been hosting the show, and he's also had quite a lot of military experience and is trying his best to live up to the expectations that people had from Will. The former host also revealed that he's looking forward to more opportunities in the future, and he can't really move forward in his career if he remains too hung up on one show for several years. And it's actually quite fair to assume that leaving the show will benefit Will greatly, as he'll be able to focus on other things because his career has been in a linear state for years now, and it's high time that he decided to accelerate it. Forged in Fire obviously was a huge part of Will's life, and leaving such a huge show also had an impact on his career. But he wasn't going to let it bring him down, as he was more than happy to stay at home and take part in parenting his child. It all started when Will met Crystal Amina. She was a realtor, and the two quickly fell in love and got married in 2017. In 2020, they had a baby, and at that time things were getting harder for Will to manage, with a little child at home and both working parents. So he decided to stay at home and enjoy some time with his little one, and this break turned out to be the end of his journey with Forged in Fire, as he never really came back to the show. It surely looks like Will is really enjoying being a father, as his social media is filled with posts of his baby, and he uploads stories quite often in which he's either playing with him or making him eat something. It's actually adorable to see someone like Will to be so gentle and loving with his baby. But he hasn't stopped seeking adventures, as he continues to travel with his wife and has also taken up a few hobbies. There's a chance that we might not see Will on the screen, but he's definitely going to be off screen, as he's preparing to be a writer and producer. And it's not just a rash decision, but Will has thought it through and is even studying the art of screenwriting from the New York Film Academy. So he surely isn't going to come back to the show, but might create a show that's better than Forged in Fire, as he had the first-hand experience of everything happening on the set. So let's see what happens.